Hey everyone, my name's Sean and you can catch me at simplesean.com. Today we have this body composition monitor BF508. Now I got this for £5.99. With delivery on top it came to £9.94 and I think this isn't too bad. The problem with this is a faulty display. So we're going to open this up, have a look and see what we can do. This is been given a very very good clean it looks it's well to be quite honest it's in exceptional condition really really good i'll be lucky if i get the batteries but let's see let's see oh look the batteries are included so we can already see some digits act very very strange when weights put on it yeah okay so it's down to a faulty display let's see what we can do so we're going to have to open this up and see what's going on just taking out those screws this lifts up and open like so so I'm assuming these pads here are for things like um, measuring your BMI, possibly heart rate, I'm not sure, but it looks more BMI. Oh no, heart rate, HTR, heart rate. This is actually very, very good. And I'm assuming this will carry the information from the scales from these bits here, like weight, so it'll be display, the load sensors in here, or load cells, um, which will all come to the display, which is looked after by this ribbon here. So what I'm going to do, the ribbon looks absolutely fine. In, in, in fairness, everything on this board looks absolutely immaculate. So what I want to do, just unscrew this board so I can just turn it over and see if just by putting some pressure between the contacts and the pads of the LCD that this the problem goes away. I don't know if it will, but let's give it a try. So first thing we'll do is just unhook this. Move that to the side. This has been put together really neatly, quite well. I, I do like this. What I'm going to do is unscrew these and if I can get away with it, I want to unhook this if I have to. Well, I'm hoping I don't have to, but definitely need to unscrew these. So first off, I'm just going to gently press against all of these contacts. Just in case it's one of the contacts that is uh, starting to come loose. All right, let's just inspect the ribbon, make sure there's no breaks in the ribbon. The ribbon looks 100% fine to me. Definitely no breaks, no kinks. So what I'm just going to do now, just in case it's something to do with the underneath, I'm just going to gently press this down as well now just in case some of the contacts inside here so this ribbon runs underneath here maybe some of the contacts for this have come loose I don't know I'm just giving this a try I don't want to push too hard though because it is still LCD liquid crystal display they can be quite delicate I'm just pushing not too hard Still no. So it seems to be more just this one here. And even, I don't know if you can see it, but with all of these, you can kind of see the outline at an angle. So this says eight, that says eight, that says eight. I can see all of the liquid crystal around here. I can actually see it. But on here, it says just three. 
and even this bottom thing here is quite faded and this bit here is just non-existent so you see that one and it looks like a half seven when it moves on to two right guys so after giving it some thought my thought process for this is as follows i have a feeling that to recover this will be something to do with these contacts with lcds all of their information are passed through these contacts so it could just be that over time these contacts have started to slowly deteriorate so this is a little bit ambitious but what i'm planning to do is heat up this strip here just warm it ever so slightly not too hot obviously because i don't want to destroy the delicate ribbon but my feeling behind this is that it's going to be this. So I'm going to try this before I start doing anything else to this display or, or to the board. It might work. I might end up destroying it. So here I go, guys. I've set it to 100 degrees. I'm just going to quickly just run this across here. Run this across here very quickly. Try my best not to uh, overheat it. Don't know if this will make any difference whatsoever, guys, but it's always worth a try. I'll give it one more blast, and then I'm gonna let it cool down, and then we'll come back to this. Hey, welcome back, guys. <laughs> As you can see, I'm a little bit nervous about the outcome of this. We actually ran a hot air workstation over here, the lowest setting possible, which is 100 degrees centigrade for me, just to see if we can recover this display. Now, from what I've learned with LCD displays, it's always the contacts that govern what is shown on the screen. And normally, if something is not working on the screen, it's normally to do with the associated contact not having enough contact on there, um, therefore not letting the signal pass through. Maybe this will work, maybe it won't. I'm hoping it will, because if it does, then that will just be awesome. So, without further ado, here goes. Pressing the power button. Brilliant! You can actually see it says cow. Oh, oh, so this must mean, let's put some weight on here. So one, two, yes! It works! Seven, eight, nine. Oh, fantastic! One, two, yes, this is brilliant. So just by heating this up, it must have, I don't know, reflowed it, just made it adhere properly again. I don't know if this is going to be a long-term fix, but this has just worked for here. Um, what I'll do is I'll leave it for a period of time. And after that period of time, we'll get on it, we'll test it, we'll make sure everything is working. Hopefully, this is going to be a long-term fix. So it's the next day now, and the question is, will this still work? Can we restore these scales to their former glory? So just one more step to go. Literally, I need to step on this. Will the digits work? Will the display show properly? Let's find out. It's still working. Yes, we did it. Brilliant. So it's been a whole day guys and this thing is still working. I'm buzzed. This is fantastic. The heat trick worked. Can you believe it? This is good to go. And someone else is going to make great use of this. This is a fantastic tool. I'm so happy. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to click the subscribe button and hit the bell icon so you can be notified when new ones come in. Until then, we'll see you next time.